Hi, thank you once again for joining me. On Monday, July 26th, in the liturgical calendar, we celebrate Saints Joachim and Anne, the parents of the Blessed Virgin Mary, and therefore the grandparents of Jesus. And so that has been a time to at least unofficially remember our grandparents. And Pope Francis has now made that official. We've had, we have the first World Day for grandparents and for the elderly. And in his own spiritual journey, Pope Francis has talked about the importance that his grandmother played in his spiritual development. Now, my father's parents died long before I was born in Italy, so I never got to know them. And when I'm visiting their grave, at the cemetery in Italy, sometimes I thought, well, you know, I might be like them in appearance or in temperament or in some sort of personal habit or something in ways that I would never know. And I got 50% of every cell in my body from them. My mother's parents died when I was five and when I was nine. And so I certainly remember them fondly, but I feel, I feel like, you know, they exited my life a little bit early. And that's always made me a little bit sad, just about not knowing my grandparents as well as I would have liked. At the same time, there have been other elderly people in my life who have guided me, who have inspired me, who have helped me, and I'm certainly grateful for them. So for this day, Pope Francis has said our vocation is to preserve our roots, to pass on the faith to the young, and to care for the little ones. He says there is no retirement from the work of proclaiming the gospel, particularly, you would add on, handing down traditions to your grandchildren. And he speaks of building a better world. And he speaks of three pillars. And these pillars are dreams, memory, and prayer. He says our dreams of justice, of peace, of solidarity, can make it possible for young people to have new visions. He speaks of memory. Keeping memory alive is the true mission of every elderly person and sharing it with others. And then he speaks of prayer. He gives the example of Pope Emeritus Benedict, who now devotes his life to praying for the church. And he quotes Pope Emeritus, Emeritus Benedict, who said, the prayer of the elderly can protect the world, helping it perhaps more effectively than the frantic activity of many others. And then Pope Francis adds, your prayer is a very precious resource, a deep breath that the church and the world urgently need. A deep breath that the church and the world urgently need. And so it's important to remember our grandparents and those other elderly people who have guided us, who have helped us. And sometimes, you know, our grandparents and those elderly people, they teach us how to live. Sometimes they've also taught us how to die. And that's important as well. And so for this first World Day for grandparents and the elderly, first of all, let's pray for our grandparents, whether living or deceased. And then if our grandparents are alive or other elderly people who helped us, to think about them, maybe give them a phone call, maybe write them a note, let them know that they are loved and let them know that they are appreciated. So a very happy and blessed World Day for grandparents and the elderly this coming Monday. Let us remember them and let us remember that someday most of us are going to be elderly as well. And hopefully some people will be reaching out to us when we're at that age. And so this is certainly a time right now when we seek to do unto others as someday we hope others will do unto us. Thank you and God bless you all.